Hello, I'm Sri from CBT. Welcome to the Ethical Hacker Training Course based on CH Certification Program by Easy Council. Module 2 Footprinting Section Web Crawler Spider. A web crawler is also called as a spider, ant, or automatic indexer, also web scutter. This is an internet bot that browses the World Wide Web for the purpose of web indexing. Web crawlers copy all the pages they visit for later processing by search engine which indexes the download pages so that the user can search more efficiently. Web crawlers copies mirrors a website for offline viewing and they are preserved as snapshots. Further, crawling or dispatching is the process of surfing the internet to get the required information about the target. The sites served can include the target's website, blogs, social networks. The information obtained by this method will be useful in other reconnaissance methods as well. Google bought from Google, Bing bought from Bing, crawl the sites and index web pages. General purpose crawlers are History Track, Apache Notch, and many more. They are coming up. Web crawling policy should not annoy the target following specific behavior policies like selection policy which states which pages to download, revisit policy, which checks for the changes to the pages, politeness policy, this is to avoid overloading the websites as crawlers consume resources on the remote server, overloading and impacting the performance of the website. Parallelization policy, this says how to coordinate the distributed web crawlers, web crawling security or countermeasures. Everyone wants their website to top in the search engine query results, which is possible by allowing search engines to spider and index data. This can also have unintended consequences and lead to a compromise or data breach if search engine indexes resources that should not be publicly available or pages revealing potentially vulnerable information. Crawlers visit the sites without approval and download the content and by default everything can be accessed and downloaded. Apart from standard web application security recommendations, web admins can reduce their exposure to specific hacking by permitting search engines to index the public parts of their websites with robots.txt. Pages to be excluded from crawling must be added to the robot.txt, the pages such as login pages, etc. Web crawlers identify themselves to a web server when crawling. Web servers log crawlers' visits. Admin must use the tools to identify, track, and verify the web crawlers. Spam bots and other malicious web crawlers, they don't put the identifying information in the user agent field. They may mask their identity as a browser or other well-known crawler. Crawlers may be accidentally trapped in a crawler's trap or they may be overloading the web server with the request. Web admin need to stop such malicious crawlers. Identification is also useful for admins in identifying genuine crawlers versus malicious ones. Deep web crawling. Google's sitemaps protocol and mod UI are intended to allow the discovery of these deep web resources, that is dynamic pages. Google bot web crawling is done on all the text contained inside the hypertext content, tags and href links. General purpose crawlers. Google bot from Google. This is a search bot software used by the Google, which collects documents from the web to build searchable index for the Google search engine. Bing bot is a robot deployed by Microsoft in 2010 for the Bing search engine, replacing MSN bot. Web crawler is a meta search engine that blends the top search results from Google search, Yahoo and other search engines. Web Fountain is an internet analytical engine implemented by the IBM for the study of unstructured data on the World Wide Web. World Wide Web Worm www. This is inactive as of now. This was a crawler used to build a simple index of document titles and URLs. Yahoo Slurp. This was the Yahoo search crawler until Yahoo joined with Microsoft to use Bing Bot instead.
Other popular ones are Fastcrawler, Polybot, RPSC, Swiftbot, etc. Open source crawlers. We have Apache Nudge, Scrappy, History Track, PHP Crawler, and many others. Let us explore some of them in the coming session. Apache Nudge is highly extensible and scalable web crawler. It's based on Apache Hadoop and can be used with Apache Solve and Elasticsearch. It's written in Java. It is robust and scalable. It can run on a cluster as well. Nudge originated with uh, Dow Cutting and uh, Mike Caprella. Dow Cutting is the creator of both Lucene and Hadoop. Let us explore Nudge. This is Apache Nudge website and explore this for further information. Web Crawler. This is a meta search engine that blends the top search results from Google Search and Yahoo Search. This is from Infospace and this is started in 1994 and was created by Brian Pinkerton at University of Washington. PHP Crawler. This is an open source crawling script based on PHP and MySQL. Explore phpcrawl.cuab.de for more information. History Track. This is free and open source web crawler and offline browser. This was developed by Javier Roche. It has many features like it allows to download mirror a website from internet to a local computer. Let us see some of the history track features. It allows users to download mirror a website from internet. It's licensed under GNU GPL v3. It arranges the downloaded site by the original site's relative link structure. Update an existing mirror site and resume interrupted downloads. It's configurable by options and by filters. That's like include and exclude. There's a basic command line version to use the scripts and run cron jobs. Two GUI versions are available Win History Track, which is for Windows, and Web History Track for the Linux, Unix, BST releases. It can follow the simple links generated with JavaScript and inside applets and Flash. Download History Track from this link, the suitable for your operating system. Give some project name and categorize it under some category. You can give a name, path to the downloads, and the action what you want to do. So, download the website, and you have many other options. And adding a new URL with a username and password, and any better options you want to set, you can set and click next. You have this many options you can download a website, or you can get separated files and you can choose whatever you like and clicking on add url if any site requires a username and password authentication then you provide these details and you can download that site click finish and uh, it starts scrolling and then you can browse a mirrored site after it has downloaded the site scrappy this is an open source collaborative framework for extracting the data and it's fast and simple. This is a website of Scrappy and uh, this is a very interesting crawler. You install a copy and explore. Thanks for watching.